This is the continuation of this video, Best Linux Certifications Part 1. Again, note this is Entry, Administrator, and Associate Level Certifications. These certs are best if you want to start your career learning Linux. Do you really need Linux certifications? Well, not as much as cybersecurity, cloud, and networking. Most people think Linux is something you'll just pick up as you go through your career. But it's always good to have certifications in your resume. That's why these preferred certifications should be easy and shouldn't require much time to prepare. Some people would prefer RHCSA, LFCS, etc., where it takes you three to four months preparation. Not the best for me, though. I'd rather spend half or more than half of the preparation time for DevOps certifications, security certifications, or other specializations. Yeah, RHCSA came in at number three on our list of top Linux certifications. Now, let's move to the second and top spot. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like nice video Dean from Qatar, Tunisia, Romania. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Brasilia, Cairo, Bangkok, etc. Second spot is KLCP or Kali Linux Certified Professional by Offensive Security. Topic includes Linux fundamentals, file and directory management, network basics, shell scripting, Kali Linux tools, etc. Now, I will give difficulty level of, uh, let's see, it should be lower than LPIC1. So, I will give this 2.5 out of 5 star. Yeah, this exam is 50 questions, multiple choice. Okay, and the cost of KLCP is a bit tricky. There is no KLCP exam only option. The two popular option would be, okay, so the first option would be, is KLCP plus OSWP. This costs 799 US dollars. This includes one year of lab access and training materials. Um, the other option is KLCP plus OSWP with one major offensive security certification, such as OSCP, OSWA, OSWE, etc. This costs 2749 USD. Now, pros or the advantage. Okay, so this is what I really like about offensive security certifications. It's a non-expiring certification. Yeah, this is the same with any other offensive security certs. This Linux certification prepares you to be not just a Linux professional, but to be an offensive security professional. And when I say offensive security professional, this means an ethical hacker, penetration testers, red team, etc. And um, you may be wondering, or maybe you're curious, can you also become a Linux administrator with this certification? Well, the topic includes system administrations. So the answer is yes. Cons. Uh, this certification isn't widely recognized. Also, it may not be ideal if budget is your concern. With the same certification organization, Offensive Security, uh, also, with the bundle or the package, you may take OSWP and other mid or expert level certifications like OSCP or OSWA. If you're jumping to expert level, sure, why not? You may take OSEP or OSWE. Most probably, you will take OSCP because of its popularity. Now, final verdict. I will take this certification. Actually, not just the certification, but the bundle. So if I will start my offensive security career, uh, I will go for the 2749 USD bundle with three exams. Uh, this includes KLCP, OSWP, and let's say I will take OSCP. It can be OSWA, but let's say OSCP. This includes one year lab access and materials. Now, uh, this is what I would do. Let's just say, I just graduated college. Or if I'm in the United States, this is after high school, I will skip college, I will get the, the bundle. I will dedicate and invest my one year in completing these three certifications. So the plan, the schedule would be two months for KLCP, 
three months for OSWP and let's say four months for OSCP. And uh, plus I have three months buffer for resting or for time off in between preparations. So think about uh, this strategy. In one year, I would improve my Linux skills, my wireless networking skills, and my penetration testing skills. Plus I have three certifications. Finally, our first spot goes to CompTIA Linux Plus. This is a vendor neutral certification, just like any other CompTIA certs. The topic includes system management, security, scripting, containers, automation, networking, etc. I will give this certification difficulty level same with KLCP, which is 2.5 out of 5 star. The exam is 90 questions, multiple choice, written type. The cost is 369 US dollars. Now let's move to advantages and disadvantages. First, the pros. This certification is widely popular. The exam is not too difficult. Pricing is also not so bad. Cons. Well, just like any other CompTIA certifications and most vendor certifications, this Linux Plus has three years validity, but it will get renewed if you take other CompTIA certification exams, which you should. You can also get renewed using CE credits. CE stands for Continuing Education. You get the credits when acquiring Cisco, AWS, ISC Squared, Isaga certifications. Now with the same certification organization, CompTIA, you may also take, well, there's a lot of options, but I would recommend you to take Security Plus, then Pentest Plus. Now the final verdict, if there is just one Linux certification that you would take, this is it. And it's a good start to take this certification, Linux Plus. Then you may go to another level, which is Security Plus. Then after, you can specialize in cloud security like AWS security, what else, DevOps or DevSecOps, or vendor-specific security solutions like Cisco, F5, Palo Alto Networks, etc. Or there's another option, which is Blue Team certifications like BLT1 and BLT2. You see, you have many options. There are many reasons why you need to specialize beyond just Linux administrator role. And one reason is the rise of AI. When we talk about AI, it's not just about Gen AI prompts, where one Linux engineer can now handle the workloads of five. Thanks to AI-driven automation, faster troubleshooting, and accelerated research. Just to recap, best Linux certifications for beginners is CompTIA Linux Plus. And this can be your first certification, not a problem at all. You can follow it by CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. And if you want to go for cloud, go get both AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner plus AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Gain some experience, then later if you want to go for cloud security specialist, uh, take CompTIA Security Plus. Okay, so we have Linux Plus and then we have Security Plus. Good combo from CompTIA. And uh, after CompTIA Security Plus, take AWS Certified Security Specialty. Actually, there are a wide variety of specializations out there. How about you? What specialization would you go for after gaining Linux knowledge and skills? Comment below and don't forget to hit the like button.